Hi and welcome along to AFTV Transfer Daily, the show that keeps you up to date with players that have been linked with a summer transfer move to Arsenal. Uh, starting off with a rumour today about Simon Kajar, who's been linked with a move today. Um, he's a Danish player, plays for Fenerbahce, uh, big imposing uh, centre-back, six foot three tall. And uh, Arsenal been linked with a move with him today. Uh, it's said that we have put in a bid already of up to uh, 12 million euros. He's also wanted by AC Milan and also wanted by Inter Milan as well. Now, we've been linked with him before. I remember last season, um, on several occasions, we were linked with him. Um, Rumour back out again today. We're also linked today with another centre-back, and that is Chris Smalling of Manchester United. Now, remember, um, before Chris Smalling joined Manchester United, he was heavily, heavily linked with Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal were really interested in signing him. He decided to go to Manchester United instead. Um, had has had a really bit of an indifferent season last year for Manchester United. The previous season, he'd done okay, but last year, not the greatest. Uh, Manchester United, of course, yesterday, they signed Victor Lindelof from Benfica for £31 million. They've also got um, Eric Bailly there, and it's uh, being reported that, you know, Chris Smalling is surplus for requirements, and that Arsenal may be interested in uh, bringing him in. Now, I'm not sure about Chris Smalling. I'm going to be honest with you. Um... I think he's a, a good centre-back, but is he the sort of centre-back that Arsenal need? He's not a very... I don't know, for me, when I, every time I've seen him play, he looks like a guy that can defend well, but he's not that great on the ball. Prone to mistakes. I don't know. I, I don't know why Arsenal would, would be interested in bringing him in or why we're being linked with him, other than the fact that in the past, we were going to get him and now he could be moving on. Um... You know what, I've got to ask this question. Do we need a centre-back? Um, I was looking at it yesterday and I was thinking to myself, do we actually need a centre-back? Now, you look at the centre-backs we've got. We've got Rob Holding. Uh, of course, there's Mustafi, Koscielny. There's, so, uh, I suppose those are the, the, you know, the two that you'd say would be the starting pairing if they're both fit. Uh, you've got Per Mertesacker. We don't know what's happening with him. He may um, retire. Uh, you've also got uh, Gabriel, don't forget. You've got Callum Chambers and, of course, Rob Holding. And for me, from the performances that I saw from Rob Holding last year, he needs to get promoted up. You know, I, I mean, I, I think there's an argument for him to start ahead of Mustafi. He was that good last season. You've also got Callum Chambers, who had a good season um, at Middlesbrough. Looked very good at Middlesbrough. Remember, we paid quite a lot of money for that kid as well. So... Do we need a centre-back? There are still people out there, though, who say, listen, we still need a centre-back. I don't know. What do you guys think? I'm going to run a poll on it. Do we need a centre-back, yes or no? And also, uh, leave your comments below if you think we need a centre-back. Who should that centre-back be? But, you know, really, really interesting that today, you know, I, I, I still think Rob Holding, you know, I, he's got to be promoted up. He was excellent last year. Um, news today on Alexander Lacazette, a lot of people reporting, uh, outlets reporting today that um, the Lyon president, alongside um, his advisor, who's Gerard Houllier, the ex-Liverpool uh, manager, were in London for discussions with uh, Arsene Wenger about uh, Lacazette. Uh, Lacazette, of course, heavily linked with Arsenal. Half skin price said to be up towards nearly £60 million. Pounds. Um, the Leon president, as I always say on this show, is uh, notoriously difficult to deal with. He's been making sounds that, you know, he may want Giroud as part of the deal. He's also uh, yesterday come out and said, listen, because uh, apparently PSG are interested. He said, listen, I'd sell to PSG if the money's right. So that would not be a straightforward deal. or is not going to be a straightforward deal if Arsenal are trying to get that done. But apparently they had uh, another meeting with the Leon president. And uh, what about Alexis Sanchez? Uh, you know, this is Alexis Watch. Every day we've got a little bit of an Alexis Sanchez story. The one that really interested me yesterday, uh, um, today, um, is from the Daily Mirror. Now, they're saying that um, Bayern Munich are ending their interest in um, getting Alexis Sanchez because they just feel that his wages are too high. But I thought to myself, isn't it the Daily Mirror that reported, you know, last week that Bayern Munich were willing to pay £350,000 a week in wages to make him the highest earner, even more than Lewandowski, to bring him to the club. 
I think this is why sometimes some of these stories that come out from these newspapers, you've got to take with a real, you know, pinch of salt. Some of them really do come across made up sometimes, I have to say. You know what I mean? It's gone from £350,000 a week to actually, you know, Biden don't want to pay his, you know, don't want him because the wage is too high. And if you remember rightly, when I was talking about it last week, that's what I said. It sounds ridiculous to me because from what I understand, Bayern have always said they're not going to pay mad wages for Alexis Sanchez. But certainly the clubs that are in for Alexis Sanchez are seeming to be dropping and dropping. I remember it started for Juventus. They're no longer in, really. Bayern look like they're out. You know, PSG have not really shown um, that much interest. Don't look like they're in that much interested in him. It only really leaves the, the English clubs in Manchester City and Chelsea. And Arsenal have already said they're not selling to any of those. So... What's going to happen with this Alexis Sanchez saga is really going to be interesting to see. I just hope it gets done sooner rather than later. Well, we're going to be talking about it every single day. Um, listen, keep those, um, those uh, videos coming in. I've had lots of those. What I'm going to do, I think I'm going to even compile a show using those videos, talking about the players that you guys think we should sign. I've had so many of them. All right, so keep those coming in. Thanks for watching the show today, and we'll be back tomorrow. Subscribe to Arsenal Fan TV.